that's it. Okay, morning all. Um, this morning. is uh, DI plus, and there's a lot of DI plusing today. Um, why do I look yellow on my screen? Oh, anyway. On this. On this, it looks. <laughs> doesn't. It? <laughs> I'm not going to change that. It's just too complicated. Well, we've got rosy cheeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks as right. though I've been on the, the booze. <laughs> <laughs> Looking in my notes, we did things like photospheres and montaging. And um, so uh, let's, let's uh, I presume we did some homework between us, apart from me. I've done my... something, but it's not very good. Yeah, you always say that, and you're always brilliant. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no, it's not. Not always. Shall I show you? You've got mine, Peter, if you can find it. If not, um, uh, I can um, uh, put it up anyway. I've got yours here. I'll, 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 I'll do Terry's first, shall I, then? Yeah, he's always better than me. Rubbish. <laughs> All I've got to do is figure out how to do this now. It's, it's, it's a week since I've done Oh, share screen, that's what I've got to do, isn't it? Yes. And then I've got to go to basic. And I've got to share um, that one, I think. There's lots of them on my screen now. So you should have that. Come on, work, damn you, work. Oh, there we go. Is that the one, Terry? Yes, that's, yes, that's the one. That's the first one. Well, the, you, said, you sent me two versions of that, and you said you sent the second yeah, one. Well, that's, that's the ideal one, because um, some of the text was a bit lower down and um, went across the photographs in the first one. Oh, right. Uh, so okay. I have to redo the text. Okay, well, there we are. We've got um, image through the text. And um, and this is all, all blended together, m m montaged together beautifully. There's no hard edges anywhere, really, as far as I can see. I used your version, Peter. Yes, even yes. Even though I used um, Photoshop. What do you mean, even though? <laughs> Well, some, sometimes um, um, you need to use slightly different methods in Photoshop. Um, it might be you add control, delete, or oh, I see. Um, instead of delete. Um, this is uh, my daughter's wedding some years ago. Um, and what I had to do with the text in this, I couldn't just get the text straight over the top. Um, all I got was black text, so I had to take the text off, do the text as a, a totally separate version, and then put the montage into the text version, and then move the move the montage layer from the top to the bottom. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't work. I see. Gosh, yes. Well, well done. Um, good bit of experimentation there. Took a bit of while to actually achieve it, but once I'd got there, I'm quite pleased with the result. Good, right, excellent, right? And then that's then, an interesting that's colour well. wedding cake, Terry. What? Um, oh yes, there it is. Yes. What about the wedding cake? Well, it looks like a chocolate wedding cake. It does, doesn't it? Well, it's a chocolate exterior. Yeah. I have a feeling my daughter actually made that. All right. Well, you good she's, with cake. I know it's been... February, a cold month. It's a good time to have a, a chocolate cake, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she, did, she didn't have cheese inside, did she? Like some people have cheese wedding cakes. I can't remember. It's so many years ago that um, <laughs> I can't remember at all. <laughs> anyway, there's this other one as well. It's another wedding. This is my son and daughter-in-law. Yes, I notice on this one the flash is straight in in their faces, um, which is flattening their their um, textures and so on on their faces. Yeah. That was that wasn't your fault, though, was it? Oh, I can see a picture no. of you down at the bottom, can't I? No, surely not. Yes, you can. Anyway, right, okay. So that's that's your entry, wasn't it? And so we could go on to Diana's, which I, so I haven't got done. It's got James is here. James, who's not here today, sent me this one. In fact, he sent me three. Where's the other one gone? Um, this one he said was done in 
I picky. Yes, yeah, says I picky top left. So we put the cathedral in I picky. Echo, stop. I've forgotten that music was on. <laughs> so they're all quite good. And uh, he, for some reason, isn't here today. I can't remember how he did give an excuse. And then there's this one, that one he did as well. So that's collaging using something called Canva. I don't know what Canva is. Does anyone know that? No. That's what he used. Um, and you could do that anyway. Yeah, so that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, this one called Chapel is interesting. That's in the middle of Harnham, isn't it? Near the near the old inn. No, the mill. The mill inn. Old mill inn. Whatever it's called. Not with the river. And they did that years ago. <laughs> And I don't know what this this pen mill one is. I don't know what they art was. Another one was scaffold. They're all scaffoldings. I've just realised they've all got scaffolding on, haven't they? Yes. How many scaffolding firms does Salisbury need? <laughs> I see. It's coming to me eventually. Well, it just looks a bit of a mess, to be honest. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> but, um, I went past the museum the other day, and their the scaffolding up there is enormous amounts of scaffolding all over that now. Um, because Does that um, work affect your uh, volunteering there, Peter? Or Oh, well, it's because of the museum's emptied, basically, and they're redoing it all, except the Wessex Gallery and uh, something else. Um, so th there's really nothing to, uh, to in there at the moment for anybody. And there was another thing he sent me as well, but it is it was a PDF, I think, and so it doesn't appear in um, in what a Fastone viewer. So therefore, I've got to go to get to it some other way. Um, let me think. Um, I've got to go to. Please move the window away or something. Right. So, so I've got to find it now. Down uh, documents. Did them. Did them. Excuse me while I, while I do this. We can see your cursor whizzing round, but it's whizzing round on a grey screen. We can't see anything. <laughs> well, I'm looking for montaging, I suppose. It's montaging. Right, I've got down to him at last. And here is his PDF. Now, that's we've got to get that working now. Uh, presumably you can't see the PDF. No. Um, no. OK, right, right. PDF is here. I think should see it now. Yeah. Yes, yeah, President Obama. So what what do we do with this? We just have a picture. Um uh -huh -huh. well anyway, so that's his President Obama rise at yes, 2014, gosh. That was a while ago, wasn't it? There is a PowerPoint presentation that shows. Oh, is it? So it is. So uh, um, how do I do that? F5. If it's a PowerPoint presentation, how do I present it? It says one stroke one at the bottom here. So there's no more pages. Yeah. So it's just done it in PowerPoint without any uh, other images, which is a funny way of doing it. Perhaps if you clicked on, uh, I mean, the PowerPoint presentation tag is yellow and the P14, the perfect marriage, is black. Have you tried clicking on that tab? That one is something else that I've been doing. Uh, uh, well, we're going to show later. Uh, so keep your eyes off it. <laughs> um, in fact, it's that. Oh, God, I'll come, no, let's come back to that. So there's nothing else that touched that. There's no file attachments or anything. Um, no audio. No image annotations. No, nothing at all. Uh, I can zoom in. Anyway, uh, eight eight helicopters here. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. That's a weird looking helicopter, isn't it? That one there, the bottom there. Right. Okay. Thanks very much, James. Um, put that to sleep. That's where it was. And now I will move off that one and go you back. You might have stopped. You might have stopped your music playing, but you haven't stopped your clock ticking. Can you hear a clock ticking now? Yes. Hmm. That's miles away. I can just barely hear it. <laughs> anyway, 
Okay, so this this is Elaine. We haven't seen Elaine recently, but she did. That. She went to Antarctica and took a few chilly pictures. Um, so I don't know who they are. You'll see it. Oh, you can't see it. Is that right? No. Right. She is took it? penguins, didn't she? she? It says it's paused for some reason. I'll try again. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, she she said in her covering email that. Um, they went onto this ice that wasn't very thick, this ice, and the captain thought that it was strong enough to, for them to walk on. So with trepidation, they walked on this <laughs> thin ice <laughs> in the Antarctic, and they, lo and behold, a little group of penguins came up to them. I presume that that's this little lot down there. Um, and there they were, four of them there, and they got very close to them, em emperor penguins. So that's pe Image number one. Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's probably image number two. There they are, the group group of four. And then finally, oh, yes, that one. I'm oh, going backwards. Now I see. So that one, there's a third one, yes. There we are. Why it doesn't seem to work at all well? I give in. <laughs> Anyway, you've seen them, and they're brilliant, of course, um, and very jealous making, of course. So that was that. Um, oh, I had a bit of a fiddle with this one. You can see that my picture. Speak up. Yes, yes. we can see it. Oh dear, right. Well, that was. If you remember this, this I did this a long time ago. This particular picture behind. I've added just three pictures in the corners in, in iPicky, I think it was, to get that. It's a sort of montage. So um, let's have a look what else have we got. I um, don't know how to get out of that. Oh, that's got rid of it. <clears throat> so, so that was down there. Right. Now the, the, other, the other thing I did last time was to talk about um, <clears throat> um, some of the, well, let's, I want to see Diana's first, don't we? Yeah, uh, I guess it, my one and only picture up. I could hope. Trekking into... So can you can you see it? Yes, we can indeed. Thank you very much. In Tibet. So the mountain in the left-hand corner is Everest. Is it? And yeah. the one down in the right-hand corner at the bottom is Makalu, which is the fifth largest mountain in the Himalayas. And this was a trek I went on in two thousand and seven, and we. When, when we got to the highest point, the Sherpa guide took out his guitar and started singing <laughs> right, oh, right near, the, near the flags. Yes, yes. <laughs> with, with they, they were good fun. <laughs> I had, had his gloves on, I noticed, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yes, what's this horse and cart thing on the right? Middle. That was just somebody that went past... The, the, the um I, I was this is a combination of trekking and us in Tibet. So right. they that was a group that went past the win the window of our place that we were staying at. And I took a picture of that. It was my old ca uh, Canon camera that I use. And also that horse on the other side was in another village. Right, yeah. Oh, very good. And nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, it's lost. Yeah. As I said, I tried, I did it using feathering in Photoshop. That's somebody else coming or going? Oh, yeah. No, it's I like think Alan. Alan. Alan's now reconnecting, I think, at some point. So, yeah, I, I sort of... I think it's sort of come out okay, but it. Yes. The only thing is, the left the left hand of the guitarist or the, the end of the guitar is missing. 
And that you could uh, yeah, you it could is reveal true. that I think. Yeah, it was there. <laughs> yes, of course it was. <laughs> what, was it a TIFF image? No, no, it's um, that's a JPEG. But that was the whole thing a, a TIFF. Well, it had layers. Um, you had layers, obviously. I had layers, yeah, and oh. I flattened them. Yeah, well, um, if it was a TIFF, you would have kept could have kept the layers. And then you could have reprocessed that little bit there. Yeah, I've still got the um, all the images from it though, like the yeah. uh, Photoshop images. Yeah, so I could do it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> well, okay. And that's a yak. Um, that's a yak down the bottom. The bottom, yes, with tassels. A yak with tassels. <laughs> Did you did you try climbing this peak at the bottom, top left there? Um, did you try climbing Everest? Uh, no, but I've been to the Everest base camp on the Nepalese side and on the Tibetan side. Oh, mm. you haven't been around, haven't you? Thank yeah. God. Right. Well. A bit old now. <laughs> yes. Well. Because... Right. I'll stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You come back again, Alan, with a picture. Yes, um, I was with you on Maureen's screen. Yeah. Um, but she needs her computer to do something, so I've had to transfer the Zoom session over to my computer. Well, it's working perfectly well. Right. Um, I can't remember, did you, were you going to show us some montaging? No, I mean, the, the reason is um, I've been... Um, using the montage program on iPicky, um, but I'm training to be a guide at the cathedral, and you get a guidebook which is full of <laughs> printed information, but no pictures. So I've been going around taking pictures of the things in the cathedral, and the idea is to put them into a montage and make just a lot of little pictures, and then I can print them off and cut them out and stick them in. The, the instructions so that I've got a picture of what I'm supposed to be talking about. <laughs> good, good, good point, I must admit. can easily uh, fail to do that, I guess. Right, yeah. so I think that's all the things we've got for you to show me, I guess. Um, At the moment, I've go, got printer problems go because... The... I've got printer problems because the two printers we've got, both Maureen and I have switched over to IMAX. And our printers are so old that Canon do not pr um, produce drivers for them on the iMac. Well, so I've, got, I've keep got a Mac and I've got a Canon printer. Yeah, well, they ours, ours are too old. Hmm, I think mine's pretty old. Uh, oh, but it, well, it does work. Yeah. Um, I need to talk to my son-in-law when he's down to see whether there's something he can do. But I, I've been on to the Canon Help and they've said, no, there are no drivers available for my printer on because I've got the iMac with the new M1 chip in, the, the um, Apple chip rather than an Intel chip. I don't know if that's part of the problem. But the, the current uh, Mac software is not compatible for the printer I've got because they haven't got a driver for it. They have offered me 25% off a printer. Mm. Very good, right. Um, okay. I've got an Epson printer as well attached to my computer and I use that for the, the photo, the printing photos. Right. S small ones, I guess. Big ones, sometimes. Oh, right. You've got an A3 Plus printer. Yeah. Mm, yes. So have I. I haven't used it for ages, I must admit. <laughs> Let's get around to using it. I bought it off someone in the U3A camera club when um, I was attending that, and then uh, it's now called the photography group. Yes, I noticed that. Very, very pretentious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the spokesperson for that, aren't you, really? I send out the Zoom invitations, but because I'm yeah. going to England, I won't be doing it for a few months now. Right, yes. I noticed you sent me a link to the Shine Dome or something recently. Yeah. 
and I've realised I can't possibly go to that one because my cousins will be here at that time. It could be in the middle of your night anyway. Well, yeah, something like that. But, um, no, I didn't think I would manage that one. I, I'm interested in going to it. Um, it's next Tuesday. Yeah, that because was... Because I'm into geology. Right. Ge yes, that's right. Well, so am I a little bit. Aren't we all? <laughs> um, what are they going to do next? Um, why is the screen so big? I need a bit less than full screen, I think. Well, it says full screen. No, it says exit full screen. Exit full screen. I can't see a thing now. Got my original picture back. That's better. I've got too many things open on my computer at the same time. That's better. Let's see other things now. Right. Um, I was going to move on to something else. Now we're not going to get around to figure out what to do. Yes, you remember last time I talked about um, the particular program to um, produce. Oh, it was from um, text to video. That was a text to video pro AI program. Yeah. And I did it with some of, of um, Alan's photographs. So I've got the video here. So if I can just run it, if I can just get where the plus, where the, never know where to press the thing. It's not that chat, it's not that one. But oh, it's over here, right? So that plus that. Oh, it stops, don't you get so blooming quick, off the mark. Right. Get back to Zoom. Zoom, and then I get back to sharing. And then, which one is it? Uh, this one, I guess. Right, I'll start again. Well, come on, you can go now. Oh. Remember this, Alan? Yes. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, Pre-COVID, this was. Yes. Maybe vampires, I like it. I had to get another picture for that because it was copyright. According to YouTube. The garlic, kiwi fruit and koala bear droppings. Where did we get koala drop droppings from in New Zealand? I asked. Are they important? Um. Make quick that stream. <coughs> stop. Right. How do I stop it? Um, right. So that was that one, and then there was a. It doesn't seem to be in the right place. Am I? My, on the studio for some reason, and rather than the channel. Oh, uh, let's get back to the. Oh, my channel. Right, the, and I did another one. The one you can still see this, can you? Oh, even that started in the middle. Um, can you see this one now? Called Story. Speak, speak! Yes, yes we can. Okay. <laughs> I'll enlarge it.
一回答吧。So Lumen 5 was a thing for that. Um, so what do you need to put into that to Lumen 5? Do you put in text and photos? You don't have to put any photographs in. Um, they, they do it. They, they, uh, yes, they do it. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I was just checking. I mean, th this is my little um, blogger, blogger page, that's right. So I've got various things on the right, other bloggers, blogger, bloggery things, <laughs> that's the right word. Um, so this was when my, Shida and I walked into town and I photographed her every 20 steps or so. So lots of photographs. That was when I was uh, teaching web making. I was scattering my mother's ashes. This one isn't working. Oh, it is. My best photographs. I can't see anything there, Peter. We've oh. just got um, right. uh, lots of lots of um, icons. Yes. Well, my best photographs are here, apparently. They seem to be not working. Oh, yes, they are. So here's some infrared ones that I produced on this. So this is in um, what was this in Hanbury Hall? If you've ever heard of that. Look at that weather. Brilliant weather. <laughs> um, this was a different, oh, this is Harvington Hall, National Trust. And that, that's interesting inside, but a pretty horrible building. And then um, this one was the, um, that's the Kilver Gardens near Shepton Mallet. A nice, a nice lake here, all infrared, of course. This one's Bembridge Windmill in the Isle of Wight. And then this was motorcyclists in, <laughs> in the close in Salisbury. All these German motorbikes, looking very keen they were. And then there's the cemetery cross at Studley Pike. And there's Studley Pike in the background. And then uh, this is called Creek Man, taken in 2007, using my Sony 82 F828. So that's that's near. Um, in, in Suffolk, yes. And then Heidi, that was that was um, Roger Kent's dog. But oh, what am I saying? It's Sh Sally Money's dog, isn't it? Yes, Sally Money's dog, and this is her farm. And she never never mows it or anything. Doesn't she? Has, she looks after horses, so they don't need to do anything. What a brilliant life she's got. <laughs> um, from Old Sarum. One way of looking out from Old Serum. That's quite a big picture, that. Doesn't look very sharp to me. This was a potato field. <laughs> that was in, in, near in a place called Ely in Fifeshire. So I thought that was rather a nice sky. Mm. And I think that's the, the field in the foreground sort of matches it, really. And then this was a local thing, Great Chalfield Manor. That's another National Trust. And this one is a cathedral with um, these lovely clouds. And a deer, no, it's a sheep. <laughs> and Cockermouth Mill, with a river in front. <sighs> Quite a lot of pictures on this. Little Morton Hall, National Trust, Cheshire. That's a super place to go to, if you've never been. Uh, these are Japanese gardens at Tatton Hall in Cheshire. It's 
quite a characteristic picture with the bridge like that and a person on it. How very convenient. That's the last one, yes. How do we get out of this? Oh, um, yes. Uh, I did some what are called quirky pictures, like the camel in the close. <laughs> um, and um, this one was through the window. Um, so there's reflections and all sorts going on there. And this one was letterbox <laughs> on a house, obviously trying to renovate it. <laughs> I thought the colours were amazing. And this one I constructed, if you like. Um, yes, this is this is the um, Uffing it is Uffington, just down from the White Horse. And I took this as a, a wall from somewhere in in the North Country, and then I stretched it and stretched it and curved it and curved it all the way around and I popped a church on the top and some trees on the, the cops of trees on the top of that. <laughs> I had great fun with that. And then this was um, <coughs> some model looking at the model looking a bit, <laughs> it wasn't really like that, <laughs> it was put together. And then there was this one, this comic one, Am I in the Right Place? That is um, Step Ladders. This was, <laughs> this was in, um, on the Isle of Wight, what's it called, the palace there? Uh, anyway, that's where it was. Well, that was just something I put together. <coughs> well, that's it, that's it, that's it. And the panorama is the most amazing one of all. This one here, um, it's huge, absolutely huge. That's, well, that's a different, different picture. But this one, I'm sure we can get to it. Click on the thumbnail above. What thumbnail above? Oh, why well, didn't it work? Well, this is about this is six photographs put together, and it's absolutely huge when I got it to, get it to work, but it's not working. Oh well, there you go. And this is my front garden. <laughs> and I did some videos as well, apparently. Yeah, that's autumn. I don't think you want to see that one. My wild garden in 2014, wildflower garden. It doesn't look like that these days. That was year number one. That's a willow herb, a weed indeed. Uh, hoverflies, a duck in the my pond. <laughs> Two ducks on the grass, three ducks, oh three ducks, that's right. We had this rivalry. <laughs> That's that, yes. Anyway, um, right, uh, how did I get onto that? I'll stop that bit. Okay, um, now I've got on here some other things. So I can uh, open that up for myself. Right, uh, yeah, one, of the, one of the other programs I got was this one. Oh, why can't I see you? Uh, share, share, come on, share. Um, yes, that'll do. Um, you should be able to see a thing called Compose AI. <clears throat> I discovered um, since in the last week, really, that um, if you go into <clears throat> any of these AI programs, that there are not, it's not just one or two, there are hundreds of them now. I think these are all different ones here. No, maybe not, it's just comments. Um, I think, yes. But there are um, other uh, programs they've got. But anyway, Compose AI, I used quite a bit to produce things. And um, it's, it's a brilliant little program. I don't know what a roadmap does. Look at that. I see. Still don't know what that means. Right. Ignore that for the moment. But one thing I did get, where's it gone? I've lost it, that's a trouble. Oh, this one here, yes. This one was an enlarging, an enlarge your image program. Uh, and the way it works is quite, you see the difference between that and that. It's not quite that good, but uh, it's, it works quite well, considering it's a free sort of image. And um, all you do is select an image from here so let me find an image first to select um, one that's not really good, of course. Um, should I choose one of yours, Terry? No. 
<laughs> no, that was silly, it wasn't. They're pretty sharp. Um, so um, maybe that one will it will be right. Do you think somebody at Geoscience has used that type of program for um, looking at fluorescence? So before and after you use an ultraviolet light on a rock. Oh, right. Oh, so it, it moves across and you see before and after. Yes, right. I'm just trying to find a suitable image at the moment. It's already sharp. <laughs> Come on. They could use it to uh, improve James Webb telescope pictures. Yes, of course, that's what they do. <laughs> I expect ah, some collaging pictures here. I've forgotten about these. Um, we can't see anything other than the brain. I know, I know that. I'm just trying to find something suitable first before I plunge you into what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, this, is this you and I, Terry? Yes, a bit too small, though, that picture. They're all small pictures, though. Oh, dear. Um, blending. How about blending? Oh, I was using that one, wasn't I? Um, hmm. Collaging. Uh, that was the same. Same. Oh, I've got the going back on myself. Right. I've got lots of pictures, just a matter of finding one. Typography. I've got one called Terry here, but that's uh, a lot more of Terry's pictures. Perhaps that's. Oh, this is a postcard picture. Maybe that's. Yes, let's see if we can improve that one. Right, okay, I'll go to a new share. Uh, maybe. Can you see? You can see that, right? <laughs> yeah, see, see the uh, web page. Right, and I now go to a new share, if I can find where I, where I kept it. I just had it just now. Is that the one? Oh dear. Oh, that is. Can you see that uh, postcard? Yes. Yes. That was, that's, that's apparently the source with a badge on the right. So if I do that, it should be somewhere here on the right. So if now, if I put that, drag that over that select image, or drag and drop. So it's 1600 by 1066. So you put it on there like that, and then you've got um, this little drop down thing which you can have as two times or four times. You can only see a grey screen. Oh, oh dear, right. Um, it says, so it says your screen sharing is paused. Is that any better? You see your icons now. Uh, right, okay, let me just. Um, have a new share back again. So I need to go to here, I think. Right. You should have the AI image in larger page again. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just uh, control this drop thing here, this two times or four times. So I've, I've dragged and dropped it. So it's in there. That's 964 kilobytes. Then you go to edit, if you wish, where it asks you to do things. If you may want to do on the left is all these fine-tuned things. I suppose we could fine-tune it a bit, could we? I don't know. Um, let me put that at the top. So there's, if I wanted to increase the contrast, I guess you just do that. Yes, it works, doesn't it? Um, saturation won't do any good with it. Bring the brightness down a bit. Yes. I guess that's better, is it? Oh, I've got the gamma as well. How about that? So you can see the badge of Salisbury now, but it gets a bit lost when the picture's right. Oh, there's even a clarity control. Gosh. I've never seen that badge before, Peter. No, I haven't. Anywhere else. That's the first, uh, the only time I've ever seen it. Anyway, there it is. So I say I've done that. I click top right. And then we come back to here, and then we go to start. Just here, click start, and you wait for that chevroning thing to. Oh, that's quick, it hasn't finished yet. The, the, the next bit is a bit confusing. So you notice, you've noticed it says only for eight times that you need to download something or other. This is the, the next bit, is the only bit that I'm not really sure how to do. <laughs> and of course, you need to compare it to the original. I suppose it was quite a big image, wasn't it? 
this is one it's got pricing at the top you notice so you can actually um, spend money on this program easily bear with me Yes, it's taking its time, I have to say. So some more examples down below. There's an upscaler as well. Don't know what it looks like, the same to me. Has it done it? Yes, it has, it's finished. So then you click download. This is where it gets mysterious, because you just do that and... Oh, it does come up, doesn't it? Oh, that's different. Well, the badge there looks sharper, doesn't it? Okay, so it's on my screen, but where is it? That was the problem. I could never find out where it was. Um, so, I, th I think it's this in this tag tab here, from there to there. So now I need to save that somehow, and there's, there's no way of doing it. So I have to go to right click and save it. So I'll call it um, Salcaf JPEG. So that, whoops. Did you see where it went then? Because I didn't. I lost track of it. It went so fast. Um, got to go to here, I guess. So it was in downloads. There it is. So um, there it is. If I put that into, um, oh, I've got to move this away from a shared application. Oh, look at that. Um, that's quite remarkably good, isn't it? Considering I haven't done anything. Um, uh, I'm trying to get back to where, where it's got to. Um, yes, I need to move that to. I'll move it to pictures. No, to documents. Now, if I move it to DI plus, it'd be better still, wouldn't it? So then we go to DI plus, and we can find it right. Okay. So it should be somewhere here. <coughs> can you see it here? Oh, there it is. Salcat. So um, where can I put that? Well, let's um, let me find where the original is now. Where was it? Um, yeah, no, no, no. I support to can't remember where it was. Uh, yeah, so um, anyway, can uh, this one was another one I tried, and it was uh, it was only a tiny little picture originally. All we can see, Peter, is a grey square superimposed over a very large badge of Salisbury. Is that better? Well, we can just see the the badge and the oh. word Salisbury underneath. Okay, well, I can only see that myself. So you're not losing anything at the moment. Uh, what, where was I meant to be? That is the picture. So if it should be in iPicky, really. Well, we've got the postcard now. Oh, that's how, there it is, in iPicky. Right, go back to that. So that's what it's like. <laughs> it's a bit broken up, but that's the. It's done very well on that badge, I must admit. Well, all we've got is a grey screen. Oh gosh! Still, let me stop sharing and then restart. Um, well, I've got this image. Oh, is that the one? I've got the postcard now and a very enlarged, grainy cathedral front. Yes, well, that's what it that's what it does for you. So the we badge. got that. You can control it. That's not the one. Up, not not the version I want at the moment. Well, I switch that one off, so you'll never see it again. I go back to here. You still should still see it. No, you can't Good. see. It. So I've got to go back to that one. You should see it now. Yes. Okay. This is this is in. Um, uh, fast stone viewer like that okay so 
and so I, I did it like that. You can see this, we can reduce the size. The size at the moment is, um, I can't read it, it's, it's green on 6,400 by 4,064 pictures, pixels. So it's quite big. So anyway, so that's how it works, that particular program. But sort of finding where it gets to is, is the biggest snag with it, if you like. Um, so, if you want to, to add a slightly bigger picture to something, you can have a go with that. They do start to charge if you're not careful. If you look at the pricing structure, you can pay, well, it's free for eight, eight credits or something. I'm not quite sure what that means. Eight pictures a month, perhaps. I'm not sure what it means exactly. Um, and then application. Ah, oh, yes, this is what they've got. All these other applications in larger. Uh, all we can see is fast stone viewer. Oh really? Oh blimey! It doesn't. It doesn't, uh, doesn't, it doesn't switch, switch across, does it? Right. Um, try that then. Okay. You got that? Yeah. This is where it's free. Uh, oh, I'm sure I've signed up already. Um, when I signed up, I oh, won't have it in all those languages. Um, and you can go to these app different applications, colorize, cartoonize, and so we can do all that in in things like uh, iPicky. Of course, I, I'm, the larger one is really the only one that's possibly any use. But it's it's artificial intelligence. That's all it amounts to. I thought actually, Terry, that it was a way of reducing noise, in effect. As well as enlarging. Any comments? It doesn't look. Certainly doesn't look like it's reduced noise, though. Doesn't it? No. Oh, when I did it on another one, it looked like it looked like it had smoothed off the images. Well, if we if we went back to the um, uh, I am already there, aren't I? How can I get back to it? Um, oh, it's it's not there, is it? I'll go down to here. But, uh, what's it gone now? Hmm. Oh, and it's not that one. It's not that one. I've got a window thing on the window now. Where did I do that? Ah, I'm getting a muddle here. To put it mildly, stop sharing. I think that's the best way. Ah, there's too many things going on. So anyway, um, I, I found one of these programs had lots of other AI programs, and when I went onto the internet, there were hundreds of artificial intelligence programs. I found one that was a video to text we've seen. I did one from text to video. Is that what I did? I thought we did already, text to video. Hmm. My mind's gone a blank. What you need to do is go to YouTube and uh, then you can see all these things. And my YouTube channel is here and um, that's not me. Right, that's, I presume you can see that. No, you can't. Of course you can't. Right, that should be me now, right. So that was last month's... Um, please move this window away. Oh dear. Uh, well, that was the one at the camera club. And I did this, this using what, artificial intelligence to produce this. That was a video. This is in the camera club venue. <laughs> I don't sound very unorganised, but it's just a bit wobbly because they haven't. Hello, Sarah. Hello. 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 I didn't actually script this uh, today. I wanted to give a flavour of my adventures with photography for the last 40 years. I was a professional. I'm a Londoner. I worked in London. Can you hear that? 1985 to not very well. Not very well. Maximum there, I'm afraid. Anyway, don't worry. You weren't meant to watch this. This is just something I've also done. It's nearly six years. Um, 
I've got to stop it now somehow. Oh, hold on. Still going. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to figure out how to how to stop it now. <laughs> got to go back to her and go to share, and then. She's filling the screen up, and I can't see where the stop is. Oh, there. <laughs> got there. <sighs> now, how do I make it smaller? I know that one down there, isn't it? Yes. And then I can. <laughs> My life is full of complications these days. Right. Um, one other funny thing that's happened was um, was the was this set of videos here. This is my. This is my. Going for the big whale uh, now. Meet Kelly, my my cleaner. Went skiing. France. Did you, Has she fallen over? Yeah, probably. Yes, yeah. she couldn't get up. I seem to remember. Yes. Yeah. Oh. The camera sideways, of course. <laughs> very very constructive. Yes. So that was one of her little videos, and she had some others. Why can't I see them? Um, should better see them on the left. So, she got one the right way round. She got all these. She took all these on holiday, which was rather amazing. I, I didn't know she could ski. This goes on for five minutes. I'm sure you don't want to see that. Well, that was that's Kelly, <laughs> my gardener. <laughs> no, no, my cleaner. Get that right. Disappear again. What I was wanting to show you was um, there's uh, lots of got 97 more channels to look through. Um, there's some that are worth watching if you don't know them. Um, Mill Hill, nothing there when I get there. Gina Dearden, she's a local person and she does very strange things in her garden. Um, Particularly mono printing, and what she does there is to. If you'd like to put your phone on that, yeah. Oh, she's teaching somebody. I haven't seen this one. So simple, isn't it? So that was that. Um, uh, where am I? So that was, uh, what was her name? Gina Dearden. She's all over the internet now. This is rather surprising. What's that doing? I don't know. I'm one of these, apparently. Australian Academy. Ah, there you go, look. There you are, um, 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 Diana. <coughs> some of those things that you've been watching in the past I guess don't recognize any of those titles no but they're all here aren't they oh that one sounds looks interesting that that type that the surprising science uh, series was uh, I rem that was last year ah uh, right yes and there's another one here the science that's 2022 that's 20 that's 2022 as well Hmm. And they do other things at the Shine Do. Yes. Um, I haven't seen, come across that page before. So the ones you had last year were these. Yeah. So we ought to put those onto <coughs> onward, really. <clears throat> I didn't realise I could, I could do that. And I'll get out of it. Oh, dear. <laughs> <clears throat> Today's tuts, whatever that means. <laughs> the over. I do watch some funny stuff. <laughs> Photo ephemeris. That's the uh, ones you've used for finding the time of winter type photographs. So that's a very useful one to have. Network chuck. <laughs> Coffee hacking tech. 
I'm sure that's not what I'm trying to show you. Right, I'll move on to what I was going to come to today and we'll abandon that. Um, done that one. Uh, done that one. Done that one. Um, done all those. Right, so done all those things. All I've got to do is find what I was trying to do. What was on here, wasn't it? Um, so I can find where it was. Right, we're on the uh, that one on that, so it's montaging, was it? No, it wasn't. Yes, I'll get there in a minute. Where did I put that video? Anyway, I thought I'd go on to a different idea of called geometric designs, and these are some I've done f to see what they're like. That was um, some trees and things that go into the distance. That's sort of geometric. Ah, oh, this might be. This was another of those things I did using, like the storybook. So this is how to do geometrical shapes. This is what you're going to be doing, I hope. So I did this little lesson. So we, we, we're not seeing anything. Oh, it's uh, so annoying, that. So annoying. Let's start again if I can. Oh, here we go. Yeah, start from scratch. And there you are. You can see lesson plan. I hope that's all right. Yes. Yep. Yes, it says that you can see it now. This script was written by that Compose AI. I think I asked it. No, it was. It was actually it was um, Chat GPT. I tried. And it produced this text for me, uh, for other, and then I put it into one of the other things to produce the thing with pictures. I can use it. You can, I don't think you can use iPicky for this, really. I said I picky on here, but I, I don't think you can actually do it. This is a nice one. <laughs> Hands on activity. Silent, isn't it? This video. step-by-step -step instructions. Right. Now Richard would like that, wouldn't he? Where is he now? I don't know, he should be here. He's not. Well, he was alright last time I inquired. <coughs> is he eating properly again? No, no, he's still on this fluid food. Mm, that's what he, he was on when he, I met him in yeah, Sydney. Yeah. I'm sure he was, yes. But he hopes to be here when you, when you arrive, to come to this house, I mean. I mean, he doesn't go out very much. Um, quick, get out of the way. Right, and, and this is one of my examples of, of what we could do. I call it doodling. 
I thought that was a good thing. Then there was a, this is a nice, a very nice um, triangle. Um, and there's another one with polygons. So that, that was all I had really on that. Then I did one on doodling as well. Where's that gone to? Oh, it's disappeared. There's doodling. Why wasn't it there? So um, what I did here was to take take that image and then put it into uh, what did I do? I've made it. I, I went and produced that and that. Oh, I know. I went into Kaleidoscope, the Kaleidoscope program. Do you remember the Kaleidoscope program? No. Okay, right. That's good. That's good. <laughs> um, uh, that's how I produce this this picture, for instance, there using the, the Kaleidoscope. It's the same same thing as the, this one. So I took a basic shape and then used the Kaleidoscope to produce different shapes, different pictures. That was my theory. So all we've got to do is now get to, to get to um, collide. So first I need to stop sharing and I need to find uh, Photoshop elements or something like that, which is somewhere here. So I'm opening it up now and um, I'll start sharing in a minute when I find out how to do that. Oh, there, there, yes. Right. Share screen. There it is. So it should have a blank Photoshop page and then I'll try opening one of the recent ones perhaps. The basic shape, yes that was it. So that should be the same thing there. Then I downloaded this 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 uh, Kaleidoscope program here. Now I hadn't got that on this computer, so this is a new new Windows, a new um yes, new Windows at eleven, so I didn't have it. But I delved into my of my depths of my internet to find where it was. So I went into this PC, local disk, programs, Adobe. Oh, no, you can't see this, can you? I keep forgetting you can't see things. Stop sharing, share screen. And where was I doing? What was I doing then? Is that it? Yes. Yes, I went into my thing whatever and I went to Photoshop elements here and then delved into the plugins and um, well, I actually found it somewhere else I put, I put that I found it somewhere else and pasted it into here then I restarted Photoshop elements so I switched that off and reshare yes I know stop sharing reshare reshare go back to Photoshop. Right, so I've now got the uh, filter here. So you can open the filter up and it looks like that. So there's, and here there's three varieties, mirror and copy and blend. So you have those three versions. If you take, take this one for the moment, you've got a number of petals here, there's two. And you can increase it up to any number you like. So you get some beautiful stars and so on. Uh, and then the rotate one just literally rotates it. And the zoom one zooms in and out, as you might expect. So that's to a half there. That's one. That's one and a half. That's two times. So you end up with a whole pattern there like that. Then there's a random button here which gives you, you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> and again, you can change the angle of it. Oh, that changed the thing quite a lot, didn't it? And then horizontally as well, and vertically as well. It doesn't work very well with this. You need a, a proper picture for it to really show itself. So you can go on until you find one, then you just click OK, and then it will come out on there, like that. So I'll, I'll save that one as... Um, base shapes four or what it was three three uh, why is it doing that oh, I see right so I mean it's quite interesting using this kaleidoscope if you've never seen it so let's go to another picture somewhere um, 
Arab? Oh, yes, look, that was an Arab, wasn't it? Yes, that was for that uh, thing. We don't want that. <laughs> I'll find a better picture. Um, open something. Um, up one. But is there anything there? Yes, I've already put that through various processes, haven't I? What? How did it get to there? Oh, that's better. Um, cats, there's nothing in there, I don't think. Hmm. Go down a bit. Oh, there's one, one on geology. Did I say geology? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, we'll take a geology one just to be funny. So if we take take this picture here with um, our friend uh, from the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we might as well crop it a bit, I think. We've got the picture of Mary Mitchell here. Sorry? Oh, I said, oh, it's a picture of Mary Mitchell, noisy yeah. Mary. Yes, yes. There she is, chattering away at the top of um, Ham Hill. And then if you go to the filter, uh, let's go filter, you can get that image like that. So if... if um, no, no, if we go back to the mirror, that's where we are. And if we go down to two petals, uh, that's naught petals. One, two, three, four, five, and then you could have rotate and so on. I mean, you could go to random and you get those sort of if you wouldn't be able to find that yourself easily. Another random one. So you wouldn't believe that was um, taken from that photograph. <laughs> but when you look closer, you can actually see that, can't you? <clears throat> so just enlarge that a little bit. <laughs> there they all are. <laughs> Ridiculous. <clears throat> I assume you can see all that. Yes. It's the sort of thing you need to put on websites and things, isn't it? <laughs> How big is it? Image size. Image size. Oh, it's only 800 pixels wide. It's quite small. I wouldn't want to change that. Anyway, so that's um, that's using the Medi Kaleidoscope, um, the Medi Kaleidoscope filter for Photoshop. It'll work in any version of Photoshop. It doesn't cost anything. <clears throat> I can send you that file that you just saw with 8BF, which is all the all the filters in Photoshop have that last three letters extension. That's the word I'm trying to get to. So, do you, do you want to, me to send that to you? <clears throat> yes, no? Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Terry's very quiet, isn't he? <clears throat> yes, please send it to me. <laughs> I'm so surprised you haven't already got it. Because Mr. Meddy, whoever he is, has got a lot of interesting um, filters, and that was the one we quite like a lot. I mean, Flexify was another one I found, of course, and that does brilliant things. But you've already already got that one, I guess. I think I had problems putting some of his into Photoshop, though, Peter. Really? Trying to get the filter in there. Hmm. Yeah. It might be that um, I wasn't using the right process. Right. Okay. Now, before I think we had a, a, a picture that I had to hide away from you, didn't I? Now, where was that? Was that um, on? Um, Is it on this one? Hmm. I'm trying to remember where it was now. Oh, my brain is so dim these days. Geometric, that's what I'm after, isn't it? Oh, yes. It was not, I don't think it's in there. Yes, we've looked at that, haven't we? What was I thinking of? Oh, gosh, that's gone now. Drat. It's getting past me, this sort of thing, you know. I can't remember things for long enough. Um, hmm. Suggestions, please. What was I trying to do? What was I trying to do? <laughs> I had something else in my mind. Oh, was that, that program? Yes, I am failure of where it is. It's a script that I got from your group in Australia. Diana, I think it's written by um, what was the what was the chap that we used to talk to? I've forgotten his name now. Okay. 
Oh, but that's it. He, I think he might have written them. But they're, um, I thought, particularly good. I've just got to find where they are. <laughs> um, he so, did a whole series on the history of photography. Yes, I know. That's when I picked up. I hadn't really sort of picked up on them, but the I've got three of them somewhere, and I thought they were particularly useful three to get. Now, he did a lot of work on that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And I want to give him full credit because it was very good. Now, where did I put it? That's the thing. Under documents, I suppose. Under AI websites, under U3A, uh, under, well, under where, who and who's where. Um, oh. It would be under Camera Club, which is the title that we used to call it back. Um, I haven't got a thing called Camera Club, not here anyway. This is under U3. I've got Spire, you see, which is me, if you like, and then there's more, a lot more there. But this is one of these down here. It was, uh, they were with their PDFs. Just can't remember. Ah, how annoying. Hmm. It could be under practical, couldn't it? Actually, thinking about it. Oh. A, ah, there they are. Those are the three I picked up PS 14, 15, and 16. So you probably know that they are PDFs, yes. So this is the perfect marriage one that you briefly saw before. And I thought this is a very, very good um, uh, convert PDF to Word. Hmm. I could convert it to Word. How about that? So, um, I'll just scroll through this, and you can look at it later if you wish. Um, is that how you spell endeavours? Just a thought, um, in passing. Um, aesthetic transition, we've, we've gone over this in the past, um, with all these categories of photography that came about, the secessionists and all that, Stieglitz, Stieglitz. Um, and the photo secessionists. Um, you may not have been involved in that, Alan. I can't remember. <coughs> no, I don't think so. Yes, okay. Well, Vogel, whoever he was, Dr. Vogel, he invented the orthochromic, orthochromic as opposed to panchromatic emulsion. Hmm. That's <coughs> He's got that wrong. More or less equally sensitive to all wavelengths of light. I thought that was panchromatic. Hmm. What does ortho do? Have you got access to the internet? Find out what orthochromatic means? Nobody, nobody doing that for me? I'm doing it on my phone. I could do it really if I shrink it down a bit. I assume you can see this screen, by the way. I realise that you may not be sharing it. Just a ghastly thought. You cannot minimise it. I'm not sharing, Peter. Oh, I had a horrible feeling I wasn't. Right, here we go. Yes, I was quib quibbling over this word orthochromatic here. Of or relating to or producing tone values of light and shade in a photograph that correspond to the tones in nature, sensitive I've got exactly to all colours that. except red. Except red. Mm. I've got exactly the same thing come up. So it's insensitive to red light. Yes. So it isn't what he says here. It's sensitive to all wavelengths of light. With that four, number four, there we ought to find what that was about. So I think so. Panchromatic is the one where it goes all all wavelengths of light. So I have to tell Bob he's got it wrong. <laughs> Pictorialists, yes, we went over them, um, and modernism, yes, and we did all sorts of other ones. Here's a bit more photo secessionism. Uh, so that's. Well worth reading the history of photography, I think. Um, and uh, this is some of the 30s type text, isn't it, that wasn't there? So I haven't read it again recently. Amateur photographer, 1902. 
the following word amongst them all. The linked ring. Yes, the linked ring. And this is a famous photograph that the Royal Photographic Society have. The, the original steerage. You can see more detail, I'm thinking the original, a lot more detail. Um, they are a bit dark. That was obviously O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe. Yes, I suppose that's a study in, sh in shapes, really, isn't it? William Hogarth, he didn't know he took photographs. <laughs> Yeah, Glasgow, 1867. Uh, another one there was that's Jack of Reese, Bandit's Roost. Uh, the washing hanging up, yes. <laughs> Lewis Hine, as an American. And another Lewis Hine one. Uh, Steichen and Steiglitz, two people I get muddled up. Um, uh, so he used a box camera, obviously, uh, and so on. Yes, this is uh, this one was self-portrait of Steichen with brush and palette, gum bichromate. Mm, very good. I like doing gum bichromates. And that's another gum bichromate. Yes, in two colours. Yes, it's always tricky. Another, start, another two Steichen ones, the, the flat iron building. And then this is, oh, more of Steichen's. Yes, this one's rather fine, I think. This one on the right, the Maypole, 1932. And this one is, it's not telling me this time. All, all these Steichen ones. This is Eugene Harris. Um, I had a f thing called Family of Man. Yes, I think the the research that Bob must have put in is tremendous. Unless he copied it from somewhere else, of course. Oh, I don't think he did. I think it's mostly his own work. Oh, it is very good. I have to say, brilliant. And and we know Imogen. We we met her. We met Edward Weston's son um, in in uh, in California. In fact, I've been to his house, uh, Edward Weston's house, and his dark room and everything. Those were the good old days. Didn't see any of his models, <laughs> or his cabbage, or this dune, and this very famous photograph on the right here. It's quite clever the way it's contained using the arms to make it sort of contained. He was into that, wasn't he? Oh, the F64 group, yes. Ansel Adams and so on. Uh, Brett, Brett Weston, that's... Uh, um, what's his name? No, Met, Met... Oh, I've forgotten his name now. I've got a book on them, um, Ansel Adams, yeah. and I've got 400 photos in it. Have you indeed? Well, mm. um, well, well see, yes, but uh, Brett Weston was Edward Weston's son. And when he got to a, a doddering old age like me, he decided to burn all his negatives. He destroyed all his negatives so that people couldn't... Uh, print any more from his because he was a bit worried about what was happening to Ansel Adams work all being printed by all sorts of people and not to Ansel Adams standard you see so he was worried about worried about that I remember so is that the end of that one yes it is isn't it well that, that's quite a long article and uh, uh, let's see if we can close that one as well can't we so Stop sharing. But you saw though briefly there the those three scripts I can send. Well, I'll send one of them, the first one that we've glimpsed at. You don't need it, though, do you, Diana? <laughs> Can't hear you. You're muted. That's because I'm eating. <laughs> I can um, see that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've probably got them somewhere. 
Yeah, well, I don't need, do I need to bother to send one to you? Well, you can just send it out anyway. Yes, it's only a, it's a PDF, you don't need to, you can do it or not. So it's worth reading if you want to know about the history of photography and that, that was a pretty good start for that particular period of, of time. But I've got my own versions of similar things, but I didn't, didn't write, didn't write like that. I spoke over things that I had in my, and I must have them in my YouTubes, come to think of it. Of course I have, yes, if I can just get to my YouTubes. Um, back to my own YouTube. Oh, why isn't it doing it right? Sync is on. Oh, I'm just pressing the wrong button to your channel. And it was. Um, do, 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 my videos. Yes, that's all my videos. Is that the right one? No, no, work quite one to which one to watch. So it was. Um, oh, Hell's Teeth. Steeth. Playlists is what I want, isn't it? Yes. So it's practical photography, was it? Can't remember where I put them now. There are 42 videos in that one. Come on, how do I get the list from it? Oh, there we go. Let's go down to the bottom of those and work my way up. Yeah, new objectivity, that was one of the things I did. Naturalism and impressionism. Um, and but, but those are two main ones. Visual weight was one, but this new objectivity. I don't suppose you can see this, can you? I've just realised you can't see it. Uh, so this is new, new, new objectivity. You've never seen this, have you, um, Alan? No. No. Well. That's what, see, that was 1920 to 1930, this one. And it doesn't work like that, how does it work? No, that's what I'm supposed to be doing that, yes, that's right. I, I can remember how it works now. Oh, I see. It's a thing that's, um, that's it. I've forgotten how I'd made this. Um, Paul Strand, was he mentioned in that list? I can't remember. Certainly Stieglitz is here, or Stieglitz. I wrote it rather like Paul Strand's work. Um, I've got a copy of this book, Camera Work, which is quite interesting. Um, I think. It's oh, there he goes. Um, so this is this is Paul Strand, I think. Right, Lisa's wife on the left, and this is Alfred Steiglitz. And this is one of Paul Strand's photographs, which is quite famous. Another one, the yawning woman. <laughs> and the blind woman. You must have seen these photos. Yes, yeah. I've seen them. Uh, abstract shadows. That that's advanced at that point, and that fence one. Port Kent, New York. And that one we, we always thought that was a bit strange, that picture, because you can hardly see the horse there and there so it's the shadows and so forth that matter um, this is a famous church that I've photographed in the past at Taos lovely shapes and so on when the sun's shining on it he said come on next picture that's it uh, yes and there it is this, I, I didn't do it as a thing like um, Bob I did it like this instead the so text is here you don't get much of it the soft look of pictorialism which preceded this was the dominant aesthetic. Um, then people like those list there, August Sander and so on. Um, uh, did various other things, right. Moving on. I think I can get it to go again, can I? Is it going? Come on, move on. And I'll get it to move on. Oh, there we go. So that was one of those newer people. And it's lovely the reflection, the shadows and the glass and the glasses. <coughs> so we did these rather strange pictures. All monochrome. Sort of thing we see in the camera club even today, that sort of picture. That was 1930. 
This was Sander, who photographed lots of his, uh, lots of people in Germany, particularly couples or twins, like those. That's a twin, some twins. They were always Jews. He took, I think, German Jews, all lined up for uh, Mr. Hitler. I wonder what the chap's done with his hand there around this woman's neck. <laughs> All got fags in their hand. Goodness knows where he lived. that one and a lot that's always amuses me that one so they also have this stand the way they stand arms down by the side legs slightly apart and this rather strange one here seeds. Yes, you have to be objective to take these photographs. That's a very strange picture, this one. <laughs> this priest doing something weird. Germans did in the past. It's the midday lunch. Those are drawing pins upside down, yes. And collars, yes. Shad with a shadow graph. Very clever. Alvin C Langdon Coburn was British. Um, that's High Park Corner, as it says. But he did go to America, as you see. <coughs> the tunnel builders. Then he invented the vortograph. This is Ezro Prand on that one. And Laszlo Moli Nagy did this, whatever he did on that previous picture. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, the Jet Bandit's Roost. We saw that earlier, didn't we? Yes, from, um, from Bob's pictures. Man Ray, I don't know whether he mentioned Man Ray. He probably did. Solarized print, very difficult to do. I 
Yeah, when you cease to be a student, you might as well be dead as far as the significance of your work is concerned. And I say to you, before you give your time, you will have to give much to photography. Find out in yourselves how much it means to you. I thought that was a very interesting um, paragraph. I think that's the end. You'll be pleased to know. There's a bit more, actually. It's still creeping on. Oh, there we go. To grow as photographers, we must learn to be students. Continue to learn, learn new techniques, new approaches, study the work of other photographers, past and present. There we go. Right, so I think I'll stop at that. Um, so if I can stop sharing somehow, how will I do that? Oh, another of my articles. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, stop sharing is at the top, so I couldn't find where it was. <laughs> I'd move the thing, the little thing at the bottom was up to the top. Right, um, so the homework will be to um, use a basic shape like that red thing I had and use, um, well, you don't have to use that, but make your own geometrical design and possibly use Kaleidoscope to improve it, if you like. Um, and I'll send the, the, the link so you can paste it into Photoshop your, itself, into the preset part. Have you done that before? I can't hear. You're muted. No, should be easy enough. Well, it's, it's, no. you've got to know where to put it, that's the thing. You've got the file somewhere and you need to paste it into where the preset for filter, filters are is. So it's not a plug-in? Um, I think it goes in, I can't remember whether it goes to plug-ins or not. Let's have another quick look at that um, local disk. Would you send us the instructions, Peter? Sorry? Would you send us the instructions, please? Uh, yeah, it is, it is plugins you put it into, yes. Right, sorry, I was just, just checking on that point. It is the plugins part within. Mm, that's what I thought. And you just paste it into it. You can put all sorts of things in there. <laughs> Some of them may work. Um, I've, I've sit up at a Windows 11. I haven't got around to putting any in yet. And until yesterday, I put the Kaleidoscope one back in. But we've had great fun with that. Sheila did a whole month's worth of pictures day by day. And she took the photograph, say a, a, a discarded glove, something, and then put it into Kaleidoscope and produced an entirely different photograph in the end. And she did that for a whole month. This little challenge we had to ourselves at that point. And we've got a printed book of it now. Um, she f printed each photograph separately and, and then put it, bound it together as a book. So, right, but I don't expect you to do that. <laughs> um, that's like hard. I'm not sure quite how much I'll get done because I'm going to set off soon. Oh, yes. Well, <laughs> you could do when you're here. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You can leave it then, you see, you don't have to post it. <laughs> Yes, you'll 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 be well. You'll be very welcome when you get here. I can tell you that. Thank you. Right, so, um, was it May the fifth? May the fifth. Yeah. Um, That's for the onward session, isn't it? Yes. Yes. By that time, my cousin from Australia will have gone back, uh, worn out and penniless, I expect. <laughs> <coughs> Yes, so right, okay, um, I think I'm going to stop at that point and um, I'll send a video of what we've done.